feel like we just we just gotta find it in ourselves, you know, the grit and the fight to just come together, even when stuff not going our way. The Boston Celtics fourth quarter woes continue, and this time it was on the road against the New York Knicks. The Seas jumped out to an early lead and were up by 16 at the half, but down the stretch was when the game turned in the Knicks' favor as they grabbed their first lead of the night thanks to Evan Fournier's perimeter shooting. But just when all seemed lost, Jason Tatum hit a pull-up jumper to tie the game at 105, but R.J. Barrett answered right back, lighting it up from deep to push the Knicks to a 108-105 to finish. We just got to regroup. You know, obviously, you know, losses. You know, this kind of, this stretch kind of is, is tough. Um, you know, losing leads and you know just not you know finishing out in the fourth quarter. Been the same result and some kind of lack of mental toughness there, where something goes a little bad and, and we all start to drop our head, or everybody adds to it instead of stepping up and calming us. And so, you know, that 15 to two run is what really stood out. Um, Second end of second quarter and start a third. You know, Fournier and these quickly and guys that we're supposed to chase over every time we go under several times and let them get going. So self-inflicted. We get rattled a lot, obviously, especially when we are facing adversity. You know, um, I feel like we just we just got to find it in ourselves. You know, the grit and the fight to just come together even when stuff not going our way. Tatum also said post game that everyone has to be better and play together. He said that's the beauty of the NBA, though. It's a quick turnaround, and obviously it was a tough loss tonight, and we let it slip away. But our next opponent, ironically, will be the Knicks at home. And what better way to respond than to face the team we just lost to and try to grab a win?